In this class, we will be seeing the topic feedback amplifiers and its block diagram. Amplifier means an electronic device which increases a weak signal strength to a strong signal. If the input is in millivolts, the output of the amplifier will be in few volts and it with the phase of this output will be depending on type of amplifier we have selected. So, basically an amplifier is an electronic device which increases the strength of weak signal to a strong signal. So, this amplifier can be a of two types open loop amplifier and closed loop amplifier. Open loop amplifier is known as without feedback and closed loop amplifier is amplifier with feedback. So, in closed loop the topic today is closed loop amplifier that is an amplifier with feedback. So, what is feedback and amplifier and we are taking one feedback network. What this feedback network is doing? It is taking a part of output voltage and giving back to the input where it, it is mixed in a mixer. So, source signal is coming and the feed, feedback signal is coming and they are mixed at the input side. So, what is a feedback amplifier? An amplifier with a feedback network is known as feedback amplifier. The other name of feedback amplifier is amplifier with, with feedback or it is also known as closed loop amplifier. And again coming to closed loop amplifier, there are two types of feedback amplifier, two types of feedback. So, feedback can be of two types positive feedback and negative feedback. So, when the so, what is feedback? Feedback is a process and feedback amplifier is a electronic device. So, in positive feedback what is happening? When the part of output which is taken from the feedback network is known as feedback voltage. When the feedback voltage and the signal voltage both are in phase, both are in phase means when the positive cycle of the input signal is coming and when the positive cycle of the feedback signal both are appearing at the same time and we say it as positive feedback. So, we take that as plus plus for positive feedback when the source signal and feedback signal are in phase we say this type of feedback is known as positive feedback and we find this positive feedback in oscillators because it generates oscillation. Coming to negative feedback when the feedback signal is in out of phase with respect to input signal for positive half cycle, the feedback signal is negative cycle and for negative it is showing positive. So, when the feedback signal and the source signal are out of phase that is plus and minus we show a um, symbol form plus minus. When the feedback signal is out of phase with respect to the input signal or source signal, we say this, the feedback is known as negative feedback. So, this type of negative feedback is used in amplifiers. So, what we have understood here? An amplifier is a device for increasing strength of weak signal to a strong signal. Then what is the need of an feedback there? To stabilize the output signal. So, we introduce the concept of feedback. What is feedback? Feedback is a process. So, feedback is a process of taking a part of output giving back to the input. There are two types of feedback positive feedback and negative feedback. Positive feedback is known as regenerative feedback and negative feedback is known as degenerative feedback. In positive feedback the feedback signal is in phase with the source signal or input signal and when the feedback signal is out of phase with respect to the source signal we say as negative feedback and they are used in the uh, amplifiers and positive feedback is used in oscillators. So, amplifiers are of two types open loop amplifier and closed loop amplifier. Uh, open loop means an amplifier without feedback. A closed loop amplifier means an amplifier with feedback and feedback is a process. Now, let us quickly see the block diagram of feedback amplifier. So, what is the other name of feedback amplifier? Closed loop amplifier or we can even say amplifier with feedback. So, these are the different blocks in a, a feedback amplifier. So, we are having a basic amplifier of gain A. This A is also known as forward transfer gain. So, an amplifier of gain A. 
and we are taking one feedback network of ratio beta. This beta is known as feedback ratio or is also known as reverse transmission ratio. So, we are having two main blocks one is the basic amplifier of gain A and the feedback uh, network of ratio beta. So, now what we have to do what this feedback network will do it will take part of output how it can take the part of output through a sampling network. So, at the output side we connect a sampling network. So, the output is observed across the resistor R L V naught is output voltage output current is equal to load current I naught is equal to I L. So, the here we need to take the part of output voltage and give back to the input. So, this sampling network is sampling the output voltage and the feedback voltage is known as V f is the polarities are shown as plus minus and uh, how can we make this feedback voltage and the signal source voltage in a comparator or a mixer which is a summer circuit generally. So, we is input signal will be coming from a signal source and there is a feedback voltage. So, these two signals are mixed at the input side in a mixer network or a comparator network. So, the output of this comparator network is V i plus minus. So, V f plus minus the output of the amplifier is given by V plus minus. So, here how many voltages are shown? V i input voltage plus minus output of amplifier V plus minus and output voltage V naught plus minus and here is the V f plus minus. So, in this way it is very easy to understand the block diagram of feedback amplifier basically consisting of amplifier of gain A, feedback network of ratio beta, a sampling network, a mixer and a signal source. So, what is a sampling network doing? A sampling network will sample the output voltage. So, there are two types of sampling it can be a voltage sampling or current sampling either we can take the voltage or the current. So, depending on that we say it as voltage sampling or uh, current or node current sampling. Voltage sampling is also known as node sampling and coming to this feedback network this feedback network is generally a resistive network. So, the feedback voltage is given by the ratio V f is equal to what will be the feedback voltage part of output voltage how much voltage is taken is uh, multiplied by the ratio beta. So, beta is uh, what feedback ratio and its value varies between 0 to 1 and the mixing are of two types it can be series mixing and shunt mixing. So, this is an amplifier of gain A and a sampling network which can be a voltage sampling or current sampling and the mixer can be shunt mixing or series mixing and beta values varies from 0 to 1. This is the block diagram of the feedback amplifier I hope you have understood. If you have any queries you post it in the comment section we will be discussing in detail about this block diagram in our next class. Thank you.